Prime Minister Moses Nagamutu pledges support for the University of Ghana's Constitutional Education Project after a meeting with the institution's administrators. The University of Guyana Principal and Vice-Chancellor Professor Ivlaw Griffith and Deputy Vice-Chancellor Planning and International Engagement Dr. Barbara Reynolds this morning met with Prime Minister Moses Nagamutu at his office. The meeting centered around the university's constitutional education project to which Prime Minister Nagamutu pledged financial, technical and logistics support. The UG project proposes a nationwide public education campaign led by the University of Guyana with civil society's involvement. Prime Minister Nagamutu said the initiative has his office full support. We want to be able to contribute to the sensitizing program. We want to contribute to the educating, educational program mm -hmm. to deal with the issue that uh, raised that Guyanese don't know what mm -hmm. is in their constitution mm -hmm. from a, for a start. One of the main components of the project is a countrywide survey. The survey would gauge the levels of knowledge and understanding of the Constitution and constitutional reform, while also identifying key areas for reform. Professor Ivlaw Griffith. Critical to the education component of this is a survey. Mm -hmm. To really have a baseline sense of what people know, what mm -hmm. people don't know. Mm -hmm. We didn't think it was a good idea to go spend money starting educating without having an understanding across the nation. Because we don't want this just to be a coastal exercise, just to be a region four, mm -hmm. region five, region six. So part of the design of this is to first do a survey, have a sense of what are the information gaps in what communities, and then build a communications education plan. The project is expected to be rolled out over a two-year period, 2018-2019, with the aim of fostering informed dialogue and educating the public on constitutional issues. Prime Minister Moses Nagamutu also donated a sum of his extensive book collection to the university. Gabriella Patram for InfoHub.